Centralia Coaches Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Wanklin Oil, and First Heritage Bank. Three, two, one. Did the new year bring new devices in your home? You might want to increase your internet speed. If you up your speed this month, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months to kick off 2023. New Blue Valley internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Everyone has something that they do best. Banks are no exception. Ours is investing back into the local communities that we serve. We make loans to local families and businesses. These loans generate the dollars which empower our local community. Invest in our community by banking with us. We're an equal housing lender. First Heritage Bank in Centralia, Corning, Seneca, and Vermilion. Member FDIC. Online at 1hbank.com. now, but somebody will get back to you eh, sometime. Yeah, th this is Frank Jones, and I'm switching propane companies. Why? Wanklin Oil has more to offer, and to be honest, better prices. They also gave me options to fit my budget, and in case you don't remember, I called last week because I was nearly out of propane. You never called me back. I'm now out of propane. Switching propane dealers is no big deal. Call Wanklin Oil at 1-800-794-2019. Wanklin Oil, we've had the energy since 1926. Joined now by Nick Evans, head coach of the Centralia Boys team. First off, coach, start off season 7-0. and You got about a week until the TVL tournament. How's everyone's health um, heading into this last stretch or so? Oh, we're really good as far as, you know, with the sickness going around at all these schools and even our even our classrooms with the – I teach K-12 through PE and, I mean, the grade school kids, are, you know, we're not missing a lot of people. We're, we've been fortunate so far, so – Washing hands and hand sanitizer sound yeah. abundant over there for sure. Now, last time out, you guys played. Um, Lynn got the 10-point win in that game last Friday night. What did you see from your boys in that game? We we, we got to do a better job. I mean, we work our tails off in that game in particular, uh, getting offensive rebounds and had tons of opportunities to to really blow the top off and, and mm -hmm. did not take advantage at all. And then, we were 14 of 28 from the foul line. So, I mean, there's, I mean, there's, there's things that you can take from every single game. And then that one in particular, you got to make, you got, you got to take advantage of you working so hard to get off some rebounds. And it happened time and time and time again and, and just missing a point blank, you know, bunny. But, you know, they, we, we were fortunate to come out and win. And, and I, I mean, it really is our defense. Our defense is always going to, Give us a chance, and it's always going to travel. Well, and I think one one key you brought up there, I mean, first off, A, you got the win, and that's the most important part, and you talked about your defense. And I was going to ask you, you, you started the season 7-0, and and what you've kind of seen from the coaching aspect that has stood out to you, and I assume it is that side of the ball? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, our, our identity is defense. You know, it's man-to-man, -man and, and everybody knows we want to push them to the baseline, and that's what we want, and I think he can always lean on defense. Mm -hmm. Offense, it, it it will come and go, and it will you will have a a game or two or three where it's just not going. But if you mm -hmm. if your identity is defense, then you always have a chance. Looking at the, your scores here, real quick, you know, thirty four in the last game, thirty four against Wetmore. That's what you've given up. That's less than ten points a quarter. That's you yeah. know, like you said, that's really good defense. Where uh, our goal um, is really fourteen a quarter keep them to 14 or under each quarter. And so we've been doing, I mean, we average, we give up 14 points or 34 points a game. So we're, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of what they've done on defense. Looking here real quick at the Donovan West game coming up, you have a chance to know to stay perfect in district play. And I don't know if you look at it from this way, but with that opportunity, you know, you get the chance to have Saturday off coming up in the TVL tournament. How important is that to have a chance to get some extra rests and, you know, just to recharge the batteries before you get rolling? Uh, I, I think it's really important, and especially in in this league in particular, to not have to play a game, be able to sit one out, because um, every game's competitive. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're playing team nine, eight, ten, whatever. There, it's competitive, and so to keep your legs for one last game would be, is beneficial in this league. And like I said, Donaldson West, 
I know Dave Johnson, he coaches the tail off, and those kids play their tails off. So, again, you got to respect your opponent and, and, and understand, too, they are a reflection of their coach, and their coach play, coaches his butt off. Mm-hmm. So they're going to do the same thing. Well, I think that's all I got for you here today. Of course, once again, joined by Nick Evans, head coach of the Centralia Boys team. Congratulations off to the nice start, Nick. If I don't get a chance to see you before, we will see you over in Washington for the tournament. All right. Thank you, sir. Centralia Coaches Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Wanklin Oil, and First Heritage Bank.